Today I want to talk about 3D printers. And this here is an artillery 3D printer that I ordered from Timu.com, from the app actually. And you may be wondering, well this is a gaming channel and why am I talking about 3D printers? And the reality is that I've actually had to use a 3D printer quite frequently when doing various console mods or controller mods or various things with uh, my gaming and my gaming room. And although I do have two different friends that have 3D printers and I've bugged them a few times to do a couple of small projects for me, I've got to thinking, well, if I'm going to continue doing various console mods and watching these different YouTube channels do these things, I should get my own 3D printer. And so I've never owned a 3D printer. I know nothing about them. So I've done a little bit of research, watched a few different other videos and went down this path. And originally I wanted to stay in the below $200 value on, um, cause it being a beginner and not getting into, it, I didn't want to go too far into it. Originally, I looked at one that was called the Tina 2S printer. It was really small, it sounded great for beginners, but my concern is it was only about 100, mil 100 millimeter print bed, which is about what four or five inches, somewhere in that range, and I felt like I would probably outgrow that too quickly. So then I wanted to step up to the larger print size or print volume, and that led me to the Creality Ender. And I, so I started looking at that one, watching some videos on that, and that was the one that I was really gonna buy. Then I found that there's a couple things that folks wanted on there, like the automatic feed stop and a few other things. I think that it had a heated bed, but I don't really remember. Um, so I kept looking and that led me to this artillery. Now this is the artillery X3 Pro. And I was able to get this one on Timu for about $150. So it was in my price range. It has the larger bed. It has a heated bed. It has a uh, couple other different uh, features, which I'll go through as I open it up. I can't even remember all the features. I looked at a couple different printers, um, but I really settled on those three. And once I watched the videos, this is the one I went with. So I'll go ahead and start the unboxing and then we'll go from there. I've got a knife here and let's go. Like I said, I've never owned a 3D printer, so I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Um, if you're a 3D Pro, 3D printer pro, this may not be the video unless you're just looking for entertainment because uh, I don't know that I will share any new information other than right, maybe what not to do as a beginner um, or what to do. Maybe we'll make it fun. We'll see where we go. So let's go ahead and open this up. Well packed. It's obviously brand new. I was a little worried ordering this off of a site like Timu if I might get a return. Um, it was a lot cheaper on Timu than let's say buying it from some of the other uh, sites like Amazon um, or even AliExpress. I don't know why it was cheaper. Um, I haven't really bought a lot of products from them, but uh, it seems to be um, a increasingly popular site. At the same time, increasingly unpopular because they're probably not the most trustworthy. Um, one of the things I do know buying this, um, and this is not sponsored, and if Timu wants to sponsor this after the fact, I'll let you know. I'll put that in the description. But as of this recording, this video is not sponsored by either Artillery or by Timu. This is all purchased out of my own pocket. Like I said, it was a sub $200 printer was what I was looking for and to, to figure out what I got here. So it comes with some tools. Pretty cool. Like, like there's actually a scraper tool in there. I did not expect that. And some uh, filament to start with. I don't know anything about filament. I wasn't sure what width or what to get. I figured we could start with this. I do know PLA. Um, is the one that you want to start with as a beginner, but beyond that, I don't really know. I'm actually surprised it came with a glue stick. So I almost bought some glue sticks just watching videos, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I have everything I need to get started here. And by the way, there is a guide. Um, I'm not reading through that yet. I did watch a couple of videos, and there is some quick start videos too. I have no idea what this is. Um, okay, this must be the uh, the feed. So you you put the filament through here and that's what sends the signal to stop if you run out of filament. I know that, that can be really bad when you're printing and you run out of filament halfway and the printer doesn't know and it just keeps going. You don't know where to, how to restart or where to restart from and you lose the whole print. Now this was one of the things I liked about the artillery versus cruelty ender is that this has a touch screen and a larger display. Um, I don't believe this, this one is color at all. It's got a magnet back here um, where the artillery yeah, touchscreen display, it's four inches. And then the Creel Tander had a smaller screen and you had a little knob you had to turn. So figured uh, having a little bit nicer upgrade screen be a, a greater experience, especially for someone who's never printed before. Uh, this must maybe be for the spool, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe this is where the 
um, filament goes on at the top. Okay, one piece down. I'd say this is actually really well packaged. This did not ship, so I'm in Arizona, so it did not ship from the West Coast. I kind of figured it would, shipping straight out of China. Most of the things you order out of AliExpress or some of these other sites uh, like Timu tend to come in through the West Coast port. This looks like it came, shipping wise, came from New Jersey. The address that was on the UPS label was New York. So this came from the East Coast. So that was actually surprising. I'm not sure where this is produced. I could look that up and I will post that somewhere on the screen here. So, wow, this is kind of heavy. So I'm not sure where to start here. I don't want to break anything. We've got some cables here, flat cables. Let's just, this is a little 3D printed device, like a tray, but it is legitimately 3D printed. Boy, this thing's heavy to get out. Okay, no, it lifts just straight up this way. So this is the control arm. Oh, I must have it upside down. The reason I'm upside down is I do see LEDs here. That is lighted. That was another advantage of this one, of lighted bed. Um, the rails here are serrated. They're actually greasy. One of the things I did see on a couple videos is that this wasn't attached. And then folks had a hard time actually getting it started. So it does look like in shipping this comes undone or just wasn't put in there fully. I will push that in there gently once I get it assembled. And then this is the main print bed. So we have this piece that is super magnetic. Wow, that, that comes off pretty. Man, that is super magnetic. And then I hopefully can lift the whole print bed out. Probably a bad idea to lift it up by the bed itself, but maybe and lift it up this way. That is heavy, which I guess is good. Okay, a little overwhelmed at the moment. I will be honest. Just got this out, got this over here, figure out how it snaps together. Um, there's a power supply that goes back here. There's a switch. So that is everything that's in the box. So I'm assuming that there's gonna be, yeah, there are some screws. What do we got in this thing? Oh, well, that's fun. That's terrifically fun, as I grab it the dangerous way. Some flesh cutters. Okay, I have set up so we can go to tools. There is an option to move axis. I just want to check that each thing moves so I can move. Whoop, I can move the bed. That's the Y axis. I can move this. Home Z. I was doing something. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what we'll do is go to manual leveling and then click first point. And then they're supposed to slide this paper. And it's not even close. Like, wow, there's nothing there. So I guess we got to raise this up. What's up? That is up. Now I suppose we do auto leveling. Grab the filament. 
can I be any more noob about, I don't own any filament. I guess that I didn't want to invest in a bunch of filament to find out that I either got the wrong thing or just have to waste my time. Okay, this wire has got to go here. Green light, good. Turn, print. There's a scrap box, a sword, 3D Banshee 18. Let's try that, the Banshee 18. Everybody prints. This is the hello world of all printing, right? Well, folks, there you have it, my first official 3D print. It is this Benchy Boat 3D model. Actually came out really well. I don't see any stringies. I'll take a couple photos up close and put them online in this video, maybe as some uh, B-roll footage. But uh, I'm really impressed with how easy that was, how easy this was set up. Now I do like to tinker. This will be something that I'll definitely enjoy in the future. Now, I don't normally make this kind of content on YouTube. I typically center around video games and modding consoles and not necessarily reviews of things like a 3D printer. But I felt this was appropriate because I do want to try some 3D printing projects that are video game related. If you like this content, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for other video game related content and see what else I'll be printing in the future. So thanks for watching and uh, take care. Does this 3D printed Banshee float? Well, it floats. <laughs>